My name is Omesh Masiyas, you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see that what is the difference between heat transfer and thermodynamics. So, it is very confusing thing that uh, in heat transfer we also study about heat, temperature differences. In thermodynamics we also study about the heat transfer from one place to another. But there are huge uh, or you can say significant differences between the two. So, in this video, I am going to explain this and, hope I, and I hope that I can uh, make you understand easily. So what is the heat transfer? Heat transfer is dependent on the three modes of heat transfer that are convection, convection, uh, conduction, convection and radiation. So uh, when we talk of thermodynamics, so thermo means uh, heat and dynamics mean power. So from this the meaning of thermodynamics, we see that it is the transfer of heat and related to power. So, uh, in power, we know that uh, that is related to work done, work done divided by time. So, uh, in the thermodynamics, we generally, the second law of thermodynamics, uh, mainly focus, uh, focus on that thing that we transfer heat into work, useful work, and, and, and this reverse or vice versa can also be possible in using cycles of thermodynamics. Another thing, I, will, uh, don't, I am not going into the detail of this. So, uh, so and this is the main difference that is present between thermodynamics uh, from the uh, name or the uh, definition of thermodynamics and heat transfer. So the second difference I have written here is the it is dependent on the heat transfer and it is non-equilibrium state. In my previous video, I had uh, shown you the example of cup that when uh, there will be equilibrium uh, of the cup of the uh, equilibrium of the coffee's cup with the environment of the room temperature, then we will not heat transfer. Uh, uh, the heat transfer will stop as temperature varying or temperature difference will stop. But so it is a uh, heat transfer is non equilibrium uh, subject in which we study the non equilibrium states. But in thermodynamics, we study the equilibrium states. We study that if a body is in equilibrium and we disturb the equilibrium, how uh, how uh, uh, it will come again into the its equilibrium state that is studied in thermodynamics. Uh, so, and another, uh, the, after this, uh, my third, or uh, here I, I had written that the second difference is time dependent. So, rate of heat transfer, we study the rate of heat transfer, heat and transfer with respect to time. Uh, in heat transfer, we study that how much time uh, will it take from the, uh, from the heat to transfer from one place to another. But as we know for uh, thermodynamics, this is time independent. Uh, if we go into the chemical thermodynamics, it also tells us that this reaction is possible or uh, at uh, this reaction is possible in, or impossible at this temperature and pressure. But it is it doesn't tell us in the thermodynamics, in chemical thermodynamics also, that how much time will it take for a reaction to complete. So this time will be, uh, we calculate using the kinetics by uh, increasing the kinetics of the reaction, we decrease the time for that reaction. So, overall thermodynamics is time independent. It doesn't tell us about the time, uh, that how much time will it take from uh, this process to happen. So, after this, and uh, the third, uh, or, or you can say the fourth difference between two, I had uh, described it already, that we study the conversion in thermodynamics, we can uh, study the conversion of heat to work. We convert the heat to useful work. We are having a source, uh, useful work then and the rest of the we are having heat uh, from source coming then we perform it to useful work and the rest of heat is uh, sink or, or dissipated into the sink so that is a thermodynamics in thermodynamics we study all these things but in heat transfer it is a non-equilibrium state and there are nothing like heat into convert world conversion we only study the transfer of heat through the uh, three basic modes of uh, uh, three is three basic modes that are conduction, convection, and radiation. So the last but not the least, uh, the difference is cycles. In thermodynamics, we see that we are having a lot of cycles. Uh, we are having a Rankine cycle. Uh, we are Carnot Indian Carnot cycle. We are having Otto cycle. We have gas uh, uh, gas cycles. So in uh, uh, heat transfer, there are nothing such like thing. We only again. I am going to repeat my words. There are only three modes of heat transfer. 
that are production production and radiation and uh, all the three all these three modes of uh, uh, heat transfer all three all uh, these three uh, modes of heat transfer have their laws respective laws so in the next video i am going to start with the first uh, mode of heat transfer that is conduction and its law and how uh, conduction uh, or heat is transferred through conduction uh, we will see uh, in detail so that's all for the video Sorry.